Hello, my dear Sagittarius. How are you doing? Thank you for being here. You are watching Cheese Chiro. We're going to do your November general reading for all of November. So we're going to be looking at the current situation, what it is you're dealing with, any major accomplishments that will be coming um, this month for you. Okay, goals to pursue, things to avoid, obstacles, challenges. We're going to clarify the cards as well. We're hitting all sectors of life, okay, with life purpose cards oracles i will be doing a few of those at the beginning along with your love oracle so of course hitting all sides of life uh also advice from our fairies uh messages from our animal spirit guides then we're going to get into your reading okay so it's a general reading please take what resonates leave the rest if this is not your story don't make a fit uh you'll know if it resonates okay but there might be some messages in there some healing messages some um advice in there from spirits so if you want to continue to watch even though it may not be your story um you're welcome to still watch the program here for you sag so Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, if you like the new setup, the way I'm doing things, please let me know in the comments below. Um, there's four ways to win, okay? And we do have a winner for the most liked videos was Leo. So they get a bonus video. So when you like the channel, when you like all this, like the different Zodiac, whoever has the most likes, uh, will win a bonus video that I will upload the following month. Okay. So cross watchers, you are welcome. Uh, I am available for private readings and there's no gender in tarot. Okay. It's masculine, feminine energies that we are speaking about. So the masculine king versus the queen. What are the differences? Okay. The different sides of that. Um, energy, okay, is what we're looking at. We're going to be clarifying cards as well. Um, so we'll get going on your life purpose, hitting all sides of life for you. For Sagittarius, what do we have for Sagittarius? I hope you're doing super, super well. Hope you had an excellent October. Your birthday month is coming up next month. So that will be exciting. <laughs> Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, the contests are down below. When you subscribe, you're entered in automatically to win a free private reading one on one with me for one hour, a whole hour reading all, to all new subscribers. Okay. And I will be drawing a name for that this month for from October. Okay. For Sagittarius, anything other prizes you want to know about? If you feel like it, check it out. For Sagittarius, for Sagittarius, for November, I can't believe we're in November, but we are, November 4th, 2023, what do we have for Sagittarius life purpose? This is the Doreen Virtue deck, I love it. Sometimes we are kind of like sick of love, right? We don't want to know so much about love all the time, uh, sometimes we do. So it says for you, you're on the right path. Okay, keep doing what you're doing because it's working. There you go. That's for you. I'm going to put one more for you. For your life purpose. And it says career change. Okay, one says keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. And we have career change. So very, uh, very much two different Sagittarius energies um, in the collective that we're talking to. Keep doing what you're doing. And with the career change, we have your embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. Okay. So keep doing what you're doing to some Sagittarius. And there may be a really great career change for you coming up for the month of November. We'll check in with that energy. Okay. So Love Oracle is next. And then we'll do the Animal Spirit Messages. So, if you do have a question, specific questions, uh, think about them throughout the reading. I will be drawing at the end, so stay tuned, Angel Answers and Keepers of the Light Oracle uh, for you. So, that will give you advice, uh, possibly on any questions you have uh, in terms of timing or anything in terms of, you know, are you on the right track? Um, any advice from Spirit, I will be pulling at the end. So, think of your questions as we go through your 
general reading here on Teastro. We have love, okay? So nothing better than love when you have a love oracle deck, okay? So you're all about love. So that's loving yourself, of course. We have to love ourselves to love others. You're enjoying yourself. You're really just sitting with yourself, enjoying the love that penetrates within and then vibrates without. And you're able to enjoy life as well. And you're loving life so much at this time, um, Sagittarius. So there's a lot of love for you surrounding you. And then we have abundance. Oh my God, love and abundance. Okay, so we are really doing all sectors of society for you here or and life for you. So abundance. So maybe there'll be something that happens this month in terms of abundance. Maybe the career change brings in abundance for you. Or when you keep doing what you're doing, um, you're attracting abundance. Okay, so very happy for you. Love is surrounding you. You are abundant. And then I love this card. I really do reparenting yourself. So is there anything, this is what this speaks of. Is there anything that when you were younger, for some Sagittarius is out there, things have happened, possibly some traumas. And during when you're, you know, a young soul on this earth, we have a hard time knowing how to care for ourselves if there has been any traumatic, you know, upset, okay, or traumas. So we're having to love our inner child um, because as a young person, we're not even able to understand how to deal with certain aspects of things that happen to us. So then when we get older, we have these issues from the past when we were younger because we weren't able to be there for ourselves then because we're just too young um, to understand it even. So then when we're older and we understand it, then it's a time to sort of love that inner child. So what I do sometimes in order to do that is I just lay there at night sometimes and I just pretend to hug my like 10-year-old self or 9-year-old self. And I just say, I love you. I wish I could have been there for you, but I didn't know enough, okay? So that, that could be a message in there for some Sagittarius um, out there, okay? is just giving yourself that inner child, that look of acceptance, um, and just hold that child, okay? Pretend to hold your younger self, okay? And just say anything and everything you ever wanted to say to your younger self or things that you wish that were said to you, okay? It's a, about self-protection, okay, when you're young. And uh, we don't have the capacity to do that at a young age. So that is what that card is speaking of, reparenting yourself. So now that you're older, you can be there for yourself and others, okay? Um, but that inner child also wants to feel that love, okay? That possibly has been misplaced somehow, okay? So that's a serious, a more serious message for you there. So for Sagittarius, what do we have from our animal spirit messages for Sagittarius, please? Two more shuffles. One and two. Cheetah. A lot of people got this card. Uh, I'm noticing. Cheetah, get clear on your intention, stay focused, and move quickly to achieve your goals, Okay. So, lots to pursue for you already. Lots of good advice from angel guides and spirit. Okay, now from the fairies. And then we'll get started on your reading. So, jam-packed full of oracles for you. Jam-packed here on Tistero. Okay, for our Sagittarius. Any more from Sag? For Sag? Too many. <laughs> Any more for Sagittarius? Remember to hit that like button. Uh, it really helps the channel grow. I truly appreciate it. I really am grateful for all my viewers um, here on Teastero. When you hit that like button, it really does put your energy into the channel. There's ways to win as well, of course. And um, it really helps my channel grow. So, look, I was able to get a mic. Yahoo. Um, <laughs> I had one before. I didn't know how to install it. So, I just had to um, bite the dust and get one that's easier to install. So we are growing here on T-Star. So thank you so much, Sagittarius. Any more from our fairies for Sag? Any more? That's quite a bit. I'll take that one. Okay, so, 
So journey. Okay. Sagittarius love to travel. So this is a good card for many of the Sagittarius out there. Journey. It's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu, which you love, Sag, or plant. Either way, make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. So possibly you're planning a trip, Sag. Uh, I know Sagittarius loves to travel. They love to get out on the town. And then we have new beginnings. The fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby, okay? So either way, a new beginning for you. Are we okay with the oracles now? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to get into reading. I'm reading from the Wild and I will be using my pink parent. Pink parent pink tarot deck to clarify okay so we're going to find out tons of um things for you this month okay and we're going to clarify as well for sagittarius for sag for november 2023 sorry it's my uh, there. Um, for Sag, for 2023, November. For November, for Sag, what do we have for our beautiful Sagittarius, our gorgeous, our handsome, our Sagittarius for November 2023? For Sagittarius, for our Sag. Two more shuffles, please. One and Thank you, angels, guides, and our ancestors for these messages for Sagittarius for November. And what do we have here? For Sag at the bottom of the deck, the lovers. All right. So uh, expect a lot of love. Like you already pulled the love oracles. So a lot of love for you this month, Sag. I think that happened to you last month. If I can recall, this happened to you before. You keep pulling up a lot of love, Sag. Okay, we have for you. I'm going to lay them down, and then uh, we will take a look at um, clarifying them. Just going to get a sense of them as I lay them down. Okay. I love the top row when it says what to avoid and what to embrace. And then it's a double card to embrace. The double card to embrace. Okay. So far, so good. So I'll let you know what the cards are. I'll explain them, um, what I get from them intuitively. And then I will be... Um, Clarifying. So judgment, your current situation, this is karma at its best, okay? This is the angels that have been watching over you. They have seen you striving, seen you really working hard, possibly really uh, meeting your goals. Um, this is your karmic bank that is full, okay? So it's the big green light. Go. Trumpets are blowing. Uh, the angels, guides, and ancestors have been watching. And judgment is on your side. This is also about your true nature, your ascension into a new development of your own spirituality, um, a new test, a new world in terms of judgment. This is where um, the angels are like, yeah, you are doing great. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, we're watching over you. Uh, your karma is um, bank is full. What does that mean? Well, you're a do-gooder, okay? Um, or you're pursuing a lot of goals. You're mastering your own fate when it comes to um, judgment, okay? And that is all of the angels that have been guiding you on your side during this time. That's your current situation, okay, judgment. That's um, your ascension. Your true nature is coming out. Um, everything that you believe in, everything that you stand for, that is judgment, okay? And then moving forward to new lessons, okay? New karmic lessons, because that's what we're here. we're here to learn. And it could be challenging. These life lessons could be challenging. Then we have the theme of the month, so beautiful, the Empress. So that really mother 
motherly um, instinct, okay? The nurturing qualities within you, the abundance, the love that you resonate, okay? How you're able to give to others. The Empress is the most beautiful in um, terms of the characters in tarot, okay? She's the Queen of Cups. She's the Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles all in one. She's very experienced. She's very much always loving and giving, but she knows what's what. She knows she's been, she's able to say no if she needs to, because if it's not good for her empire, she's not going to be, you know, making foolish decisions. So again, you've made a lot of good decisions, okay? And you're enjoying the, the beauty that's surrounding you, also the bounty that you have created. And there's no end to the bounty that you have created, okay? And that's a lot of motherly um, energy also could signify like the fair, I think it was the fairy deck saying that there could be a birth announcement. Okay, so that could be happening now too. The key goals to pursue is the page of cups, the son of cups. So, so maybe someone you have your eye on in terms of love. There's a loving energy, some sort of message coming towards you or you speaking to others about love. Okay. It could be a love offer, and it's uh, something that you're wanting to pursue, possibly in terms of a new partner, or you're just wanting to call someone up and give them a very loving message. Whatever it is, it's a loving message, a page of cups, um, and that is what you're wanting to pursue. And the obstacle in the way is... Um, Okay, it's six of pentacles. I mean, six of wands. Okay, so that is the energy that they're wanting. It's a, something to overcome. I think it's a feeling of, okay, I've worked so hard. I really wanted to be here on this level, but I'm over here on this level. Why aren't I meeting where my mind and my imagination are wanting to go with my feeling of goal setting, victory, okay, success, abundance. Six of Wands is, of course, public accolades, could be awards, could be people cheering you on, saying, yeah, you're doing a good job, we love that, keep going, um, they love what you do, you're feeling victorious, you could be um, famous, a celebrity of some kind, or reaching that status, you could be wondering, it's an obstacle to um, to overcome is, why am I not at the 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 stage in life in terms of my victory in terms of public accolades and in, in terms of um you know why aren't i at this at the stage where i really want to be on you know why aren't i reaching why aren't sorry i'm not saying that right they're coming in really quick the messages why am i not reaching the status that I want to reach as of yet. Why am I not there? Why are there so many obstacles in the way? Okay, and that is something we're going to look at. Sorry, that was a lot of very rushed um, messages, but it was coming in me rushed, so I couldn't even help it. Uh, major accomplishments. You are celebrating your home, family life, okay? So the Empress is celebrating her home, love, the abundance, uh, very stable, in your home, okay, doesn't necessarily mean that you're with a partner or getting married and celebrating your home with someone, but your home is the place where you celebrate, nurture yourself, and really take care of yourself and whoever is surrounding you, okay? So it also could be the uh, a birth announcement, the four of wands again. So that's three cards that came out signifying birth announcement, also just celebrating life in general. In terms of home, but then we have what to avoid, the hair font. Okay, so traditional ideas, traditional viewpoints, things that, um, you know, things you don't believe in, things that don't sit right with you. Uh, this is, it could be someone else's, um, you know, ideals that just, you just don't gel with. You're just not wanting to really uh, think like someone else thinks during this time. You're wanting to think outside the box, not so inside the box in terms of tradition. Um, this is how things are done with the hair font. It's about religious factors as well. So possibly there is something that you're needing to look out for, something to avoid in terms of how you think in terms of your own religion, possibly, and how someone else Things. And it could be not even just religion, it could be um, morals, values, things that you take into consideration to build your life as the Empress, okay? So what to bring in is the Nine of um, Wands, okay? The Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. 
So moving on from that, why are we embracing this right now in November? Because you've probably done a hell of a job uh, maneuvering through some areas where we're, they were tricky. They caused you pain. They caused you heartache, but they caused you also life lessons to live with and learn. You've learned things that you can't just learn um, if you don't go through hard times. Okay, hard times are there to teach us. Okay, so I'm feeling troubled. I feel down and out, but I have my faith and I have my conviction and I'm going to move forward. And then you do and you realize anything that you've learned with the nine of wands that will keep with you to keep going. So you weren't won't make those mistakes. I, don't, I hate to say mistakes in the terms of life because mistakes is like just what it is. We're human beings. We can only do our best. But to embrace all of the learning, learning lessons that you have conquered. You've conquered a lot and you're moving forward and they want you to embrace um, that victory. That is victory in, ex in itself. Okay. The obstacles that you went through. Okay. I hope that makes sense. What is supporting you? What is surrounding you is the sun. So happy times. Okay. Thinking of happy times, remembering happy times or bringing in more happy times for uh, November. Okay. So the sun, happiest card in the deck. And this is, could be friends that you have fun with, family supporting you that you have a lot of fun with, or even a romantic partner. You will be enjoying a lot of happy times this month in November. And then we have the advice from spirit. So we have the son of cups here and we have the daughter of pentacles. Okay. So page of pentacles. So a very strong author in terms of, well, we have one in terms of love, but this is long lasting love that offers security success, which is the daughter of pentacles. So there could be that message of career change, for example, or a new idea that brings in more abundance or something that is tangible in terms of love that it's offering security and something long lasting. Okay. In terms of partnerships. All right. I hope that makes sense. We're going to be a and look at that's a general over sense over sense. That's not a word over sense. <clears throat> general overview of and of course numbers at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of loving energy. I feel Sagittarius, you're too hard on yourself. I feel that you've been through a lot, and you do need to enjoy the sun a lot more. You have the Nine of Wands here, which was a lot of battling and a lot of learned lessons. Now is the time that you get to enjoy the sun um, coming to the end of November. Okay. So a lot of happy times. You've been through some struggles. We all have. Okay. But your angels, guides, and ancestors are applauding you for you know, making the right decisions when you needed to make the right decisions, uh, making sacrifices, you know, possibly even to build your business, for example, so that you could build your business, making those sacrifices, making those choices um, for yourself and self-love. Okay. So all these things um, have helped you. I'm feeling, I feel that I'm channeling the messages here for you. So, and they're bring because of all of these, you know, um, hard decisions, hard lessons, things that you will have overcame. You're celebrating family. You're celebrating loved ones with the sun. And there's two messages coming um, in forms of cups and pentacles. Okay. And then we have page of pentacles here that came in again. I will be clarifying for Sagittarius, clarifying for November. Ten of Cups energy, Six of Wands, Four of Wands, the Hierophant, Nine of Wands, the Sun, and the Daughter of Pentacles here for Sagittarius. <laughs> Two more shuffles. There we go. Thank you, Angels, Guides, and Ancestors for these messages for Sagittarius. So we're going to be clarifying one by one. Here we go. So the judgment 
You have been working hard. Just like I was speaking about, you have been working hard. They've seen you've been working hard. Now, this is toil and labor. This is work that you love, but you're stepping back. You're like, well, how much do I really love this work? Is it enough for me to keep going? Am I seeing um, it grow? Okay, and you've put a lot of hard work in. This is seven of pentacles. A lot of hard work and judgments on your side. Okay, so you've created a lot of karma bank with this work. But do you love it? You're taking a breather. You're taking a step, step back and you're taking stock of, okay, am I going to keep doing this? Is it, is it something that I really can pursue long lasting? Okay, you already are the empress, but that's how you got there. All right. You have received the heights of the Empress. Okay. Even though you're working hard. Okay. The Empress doesn't always just sit down on her throne and just sit there and sort of give out flowers and like, you know, beautiful things um, and coins. She also gives gifts of understanding. Okay. So you've understood a lot in terms of your journey, in terms of work. And now we have the page of pentacles again, which also came out as your advice from spirit. So there's a message. There's an offer for you. Okay. Could be with the life purpose deck, a career change. So the empress took change careers. Yeah, she could do it. She's experienced. She knows exactly what steps to take, but there is an offer coming towards you um, in terms of something tangible that could be a love offer, could be, um, you know, something that's uh, in terms of your success, your wealth, your abundance, something that will be secure for your home and family. Okay. So it's just when the page goes to an empress, um, it's a, that's the only warning sign I would give there. Um, it's kind of like, okay, well, I have this small little thing for you, the empress. And the empress is like, that's really sweet, but I have that, you know? So, um, you know, and the Amber's like, I got this. It's all right. But there is an offer coming to you. From, it could be someone from the, of a immature energy or, sort, or someone younger. Okay. Anything. Okay. But it is something tangible that will be successful. Okay. Down the line. So it's another message. And then we're going to clarify the son of cups. You have the magician. And this is your key goal to pursue. Okay, so manifest love. Man is manifest loving messages um, that you say to yourself. Okay, first and foremost, we need to speak loving thoughts to ourselves before we start telling other people we love them. And you're manifesting through these messages this month. Okay, that is your goal to pursue, to manifest with um, all your tools, okay, in terms of love, in terms of love messages. And that's your goal to pursue. Messages of love and manifesting, okay, manifesting the life or the new life that you want. The Empress can change up um, what she does anytime, and especially with the Magician energy as well. So that is uh, Gemini energy, the Magician. And I, and I believe uh, the Empress is Aries, okay? So there you go. You have messages that you are manifesting. You're speaking loving thoughts. Remember to speak loving thoughts to yourself first, okay? Uh, because then once that vibe is created within you and you're like, yeah, I really do think loving thoughts to myself and you say those affirmations every day, I feel like that will help you um, to any next levels or glow ups um, that you're wanting to succeed to because what obstacle is in the way is the six of ones. You're not feeling victorious enough. You're not feeling um, applauded enough, okay? You're not feeling recognized uh, for some reason. But then we have the emperor. The emperor sure recognizes you, okay? We have the empress as well, but the here. But the emperor sure applauds you, okay? So remember that uh, there is people that have loving messages to say to you, um, possibly offering you something in terms of cups or pages of pentacles. But this emperor here loves you so much and he's sitting on his throne watching you do your thing, watching you, um, you know, be so victorious in all that you do. This is like success, public acc accolades, recognition, applauds. Okay, this also could be appreciation in terms of rewards or awards for a job well done. Well, this emperor sure thinks a lot of you, okay? And it's in an obstacle because you're possibly um, doubting your abilities, doubting your talents, possibly, okay? Doubting the levels of achievement 
of success. Why am I not here when I have worked so hard when I'm down here? I feel like I'm down here. Why am I not up here yet? Well, this emperor thinks you're up here. Okay, this emperor wants to applaud you and your efforts and your triumphs, your skills, your talents, your abilities. Okay, so and you're and you're just being the magician and you're, all you're being asked to pursue this month is to speak loving thoughts towards yourself and others. Then we have the major accomplishment, a happy home. Again, we have the hair font twice. We have the emperor twice as well, or well, the emperor and the empress. So again, um, the traditional values of the home is an accomplishment. Okay. So whether it's um, different ways of pursuing the home, okay, whether it's, uh, you could be, of course, with the hair font and the four of wands, which represents a happy home to celebrate, and of course, the hair font represents the Pope energy, religious um, thinking, right, there could be a love proposal, all right, there could be someone that's going to ask you to move in, or to marry you, or to live in um, whatever um, abundance and create, you know, a world around you. Okay. Create something that is going to celebrate the feeling of home. Okay. That's your major accomplishment. Why I'm saying that is because the emperor here is sitting back saying, yeah, I really love that Sag. Um, you know, the empress is over here and there is a token. Okay. So it could be that someone comes in with the hair font energy, um, wanting to marry you. All right, because we have the four ones here and we have the hair font here twice, but it's something that you're being asked to avoid when we come up to the top level of your card here to avoid the hair font. Now, there could be some misunderstanding of approach in terms of, you know, creating a home. So maybe one person values this and one person values this and it butt head. They butt heads because of it. That's what I feel that could happen, why this possibly um, is put on hold, or why you're needing to avoid the hair font, but we will see. Yeah. So, one of you, or both of you, or one, or the other of you, okay, still feels sadness and loss from a past loved one. Okay, so there was a traditional home, there was a traditional religion, in terms of your partner who really valued the religious factor between them and their partner, you or them, okay? There was some sort of marriage that has happened. And I feel like this could be um, like a widow of some kind because there is marriage here and sadness and loss and needing to avoid this feeling. So possibly needing to open up communication about the sadness and loss to move forward. Okay, um, this is this could be marriage, it's traditional viewpoints, but also sadness and loss. So also it could signify that if you are avoiding sadness and loss, seek religious counsel. Okay, in terms of grief counseling, um, talking to a friend or loved one. Okay, um, strong emphasis on the hair fund energy. The emperor the, and the empress, okay? But there is an offer of some kind, and you will have the sun. Okay, so what to embrace and bring in? You're worried, possibly about this. There's four pages here and two page of pentacles. There's an offer here for you. And you could be worried about it. All right, with the nine of swords and the nine of wands. So that's nine and nine. You might want to check that, that out in terms of numerology or angel numbers, nine and nine. Okay, so what to embrace and bring in is realizing when you're in when you're living in fear, when you're living, this is fear, worry, late at night, staying up all night worried about something, whatever it is. It could be career, it could be anything. Sometimes it's so trivial. Um, it just, it's things that we're, we feel like we're not able to sort out during the day. So at night we're up worrying about it. And it could be from the five of cups energy, sadness and loss. So what to embrace and bring in is to realize that yeah, you've had a lot of worries and you've had a lot of struggles that you've overcame, okay? And why you're being asked to bring those in is to realize how much you've learned from these lessons. We're always going to have worries that come up and we're always going to have challenges that we're needing to hurdle over. Realizing 
that your strength within this is that you've won every battle that there is. You've went through all of these steps, which is really weird because I had a dream last night about steps and I was wondering if I was going to say it on the channel. I was, I, I had this dream last night, okay, with steps. And I thought, well, why, when they say climb the ladder of success, you know, those say climb the ladder, right? All those memes that we have and all those um, sayings that we've had for a very long time, climbing the ladder and we have the ladder. But what about naming the ladder of, of what goals to pursue? Like this one, okay, I'm going to um, say you want to become um, what? A hairstylist. Okay, so the first step would be look into colleges. The second step would be going to interviews or checking out different hairstyling colleges. So look, seek them out, go there and have interviews, pick a college, okay, and then prepare for the college, okay, buy whatever you need to buy, scissors for haircutting, whatever else. Um, also, then it would be joining the classroom, okay? So you see what the steps are. I feel that you feel that you're hard on yourself more than then you should be because, okay, that was just my dream. I had to share it because the steps uh, remind me of my dream last night. You've worked so hard and I feel like you don't give yourself the um, accolades that you deserve, okay? And I don't think that you feel um, that you're worthy of the public recognition, the accolades, how the emperor sees you, okay? I feel like you're you're manifesting loving thoughts. You're taking small steps towards your growth, but I feel like you don't see how far you've actually come and you wish you could do more in terms of home, career, success, whatever it is you wish and feel like you could do more and you're not giving yourself um, the, you know, pat on the back that you deserve, okay? You're being too hard on yourself. I feel, and that's when I feel the message is what to bring in. Let that go. You've worked hard. The emperor says so. All right. You are already the empress and you have judgment on your side. Okay. So they've seen you work hard. All right. They've seen all the work that you've done. And I just feel like you're cutting yourself short, Sagittarius, somewhere in terms of something to do with the home, something to do with your career status, something to do with your success. Right off the hop, I got a feeling of, well, why aren't I here? Why am I still right over here? When I work so hard, I should be up here. Okay, so that is something that you're needing to look out for November. And then for the sun, oh, I love this. Um, we have the sun card here in what's supporting you. So the sunshine is supporting you. Um, possibly putting you in the spotlight. All right, possibly just shining a light on you for um, winter, okay? And also we have the temperance, which is your energy, Sagittarius. So being patient, being kind to yourself, be patient and kind to yourself. Speak the loving thoughts to yourself um, before others, okay? And really just harness that energy, that healing energy. You're going to have so much fun. You're going to enjoy, be enjoying life so much. November. Okay. We have the sun card. So happy. So healing. Okay. You're going to feel that healing, that love surrounding you. Okay. And that's happy times with loved ones, your partners, your friends. Okay. Um, and then we have the daughter of pentacles advice from spirit. Okay. So yeah, you are being far too hard on yourself. You're feeling like you're in a self-imposed prison when really there's a lot of offers out there for you. Okay. We have a lot, a lot, you have a lot to give, all right? Um, I feel like you're forgetting to give to yourself and thinking those loving thoughts of yourself. Freeing yourself from this is so easy. You just tear it apart, tear everything off and walk away. And that's it. So there is an offer for you, but somehow you're feeling in this stuck energy. I will clarify one more time for the Eight of Swords, because that could help you move forward from that Eight of Swords energy is a feeling of being stuck and there is a an offer here with the daughter of pentacles okay. mm -hmm. uh, Sorry. Sorry. speak your truth okay really be fierce in your actions really know that you can really move away from this energy okay this is just fear okay it's just a thought 
All right. So if this is part of the way that you think in terms of nine of swords, nine, eight, eight of swords, you know, really know that you are more fierce than you realize. I think that is the biggest message I get for you here. You're so much more than you realize that you are. And there is an emperor here that says so. Okay. So I hope that helps okay because you're wondering about your work you're wondering is it enough there's offers here coming in for you left right and center and the hair font energy is something you're needing to look at this month in terms of your morals your values um possibly um speaking to counsel if you're feeling in that stuck energy up at night worried there also could be a Knight of Swords coming towards you with a very strong message. They're very heated in their, in their, uh, what they're passionate about and what they need to say, their communication, the Knight of Swords with the page or with the Daughter of Pentacles. So they're coming to rescue you, this Knight of Swords energy, like, oh no, my Sag does not belong in this element here. Okay. So there is someone coming in with something very strong to say, and they are very fast on their feet, very fierce. Okay. Um, so really enjoy the time when you're in the sun and uh, feeling your energy, which is temperance. Really be patient with yourself. I feel the biggest message, which I got right off from the hop, is you're too hard on yourself. Um, and there's no need to be, um, and the hair font, the two hair fonts here have being, one is celebrating the home and one is a fear of sadness and loss. So I'm not sure if, um, that, how that works in terms of your feeling of sadness and loss in terms of a home, in terms of someone that you have lost, um, or, someone offering you a proposal and you're like, well, if I say yes, I'm going to need to let these cups go. So that's what I'm getting for you. Okay. Anything else for Sagittarius? And remember, if you had those questions, I'll be saying them to you now. Well, the, the angels will be, but I'll be saying them. Um, anything else for Sagittarius? Questions that they were thinking about? Thank you. Okay. So, for you, Saj. Oh, there's messages. Don't stop. And we had that right on the beginning, at the beginning of your reading with Life Purpose. It said, don't stop, keep going. Then said career change. But <laughs> for the Saj, don't stop. Okay, then we have a few here for you. We have for you, Sanat Kumara. Light activation, shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Okay, shine that light. Then we have life force. Express your driven, driving passion, sensual and sexual power, powers <laughs> are increased. Okay, so there's someone who's very attracted to you. I believe it's this emperor, okay? Paying attention, full attention. <laughs> then we have Lady Venus, downloads and understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. So that nine of uh, wands, okay? So because of the different things you've been through, the struggles, the um, you know hurdles you've had to overcome, you're developing a truth and it's being revealed through the heavens. Then we have Green Terra, Supreme Protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. Yes. Don't put limits on yourself, Sagittarius, because you have success. Okay? All right? There's success for you. And then, wow, we have the Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness, like the ladder, the success ladder, the whole dream I had with step one. This is my step one. I'm going to uh, look into colleges. Step two, I'm going to visit the colleges, okay? That was just a dream I had, but they're talking about it too here, the Dharma unfolding. Take one step at a time towards happiness. And you do have the sun card here. We have higher learning. I was talking about that too. And you have learned from experience, just like with the nine of wands energy, the wounded warrior move inner study is now required to further progress. So if there is something you're wanting to learn, check it out. 
Um, look it up, see if it's something for you. And then we have the Holy Spirit, expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Love yourself first. Okay. That's my message to you. Love yourself first. We have one, two more here. Hey, we're wanting to speak to you today. Uh, we have faith, humanity, and benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself or and others and see the light in the world again, shining that light on yourself and others last one last message for you cosmic gateway which is horus your thoughts are magnetic and powerful miraculous changes are occurring we saw that with the magician energy okay so manifest really love yourself first okay um the biggest card on the deck that i see here for you really honestly truly is the emperor they are loving what you do, even though you're not feeling, um, I feel that you're not feeling um, the success that you uh, have achieved. The Zemper certainly, certainly does. Okay. And possibly many, many others too. Manifest with words, thoughts, words, then action. And you have this in November. The energies to avoid, nine of swords, nine of wands, just know that all those learned lessons are meaningful and they're developing a beautiful uh, unfolding of the future for you, for your um, best of all, the good of all for and for others, okay, surrounding you. So celebrate that happy home and really make your mark when it comes to the hair font, those values, those morals, really know uh, to do right by you first and speak those loving thoughts. That is what we have here for you, Sagittarius, for November, your monthly energy. Thanks for watching, Tease Love you so much. Please hit that like button if you don't mind, and I will see you next time.